So today we celebrate the feast of the archangels, Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. We hear, hear about them in the Old Testament and then some in the New. So, of course, uh, Michael and Gabriel are referenced in the book of Daniel. And then uh, the only time we know about Rapha Saint Raphael is in the book of Tobit. Great book. Read it. It's a fun book to read. Uh, and then in the New Testament, of course, in the Gospel of Luke, we hear about Gabriel the Archangel Gabriel coming to Mary and, uh, and to Zechariah. And then um, in the letter of Jude, he makes reference to Michael. And then, of course, in the first reading today, we hear about um, uh, Michael warring the dragon, warring Satan in heaven. And uh, a reminder that we look and say, what does angel mean? Angel means messenger. And so these are the messengers of Almighty God. And they're being, their nature, what they are, is pure spirit. Now, just as an aside, too often we get confused when we think as humans that we're supposed to be angels. We get all mixed up because God didn't make us to be angels. He made us to be humans. Body, our bodies are not secondary to our creation. They are essential and key to it. We are both body and soul, and souled bodies and bodied souls. And so when we try to act like angels, as the saying goes, when we try to be as good as angels, we fall and become worse than the demons. And so we got to be careful and make sure we recognize that we are called not to be angels, but to be humans. So now off of that aside, back to the homily as such. Um, we look at these three angels, these three archangels who have been given special uh, authority and a call, and their names mean something. St. Michael, who uh, is his, the primary role that we see of him in the scripture, is fighting Satan, fighting the pride of Satan, throwing him out of, hev out of heaven and saying, get out of here because you who said you know I will be like God and said who said I will not serve Saint Michael Michael means who is like God you say you're gonna be like God he says who is like God and the humility of the Archangel Michael overcomes the pride of Satan And of course, at the end of Masses, we pray the St. Michael prayer, asking God, through the intercession and work of St. Michael, to protect us from the evil one. And the greatest weapon the evil one has in our lives is pride. Because pride says, I can do this on my own. I don't need God. Or conversely, uh, it says, I have sinned so badly, even God can't overcome this. Even God can't forgive this. And so with both of those attitudes, both of those are pride. And Satan gets in there and he wheedles at us to try to get us away from trusting in the love and the mercy and the providence of Almighty God. And Michael reminds us, who is like God? Not to be proud, but rather humbly receive all that God gives. Then Gabriel means the strength or the power of Almighty God. And we hear how he comes to Mary. And he says, blessed are you. He says, you will become the mother of God of God. You want to see the power of God? You want to see how incredibly powerful God is? Creator of the universe, phenomenal cosmic powers, and he comes and he says, he will come in itty bitty living space. He will come to be the smallest of the small. That's how powerful God is. That he will become human. Even to being that smallest of humans, in the womb of Mary. Do you want to see the power of God, St. Gabriel says? You see how he is able to empty himself and humble himself. 
And Saint Raphael means God's healing. And in the book of Tobit, we hear about how ultimately he heals Sarah of a demon that's been afflicting her. He, he heals Tobit of blindness. And God wants to bring us healing as well. Healing to our hearts, healing to our souls, healing to our emotions, healing to our bodies. And to trust in God's moving presence in our lives. And so we can look to these three archangels who are continuing to move in our lives here and now today and ask for their help. When we need healing of, of mind or heart or body or soul, we can turn to Saint Raphael and beg him to bring God's healing to us. When we're struggling with trusting in God's good news, when we're struggling with trusting that God truly does love us and is part of our lives, we can beg Saint Gabriel uh, to bring the power of God into our lives. And when we're struggling with temptation or with habits of sin or addictions, when we're struggling with uh, the power of evil in our lives and in the world, we can look to Saint Michael who reminds us who is like God. God is greater than every other power in this world. And so on this feast of these holy archangels, let us invoke them and ask them for that help in our lives so that we may humbly grow closer to God each and every day.